What's up, fellow gamers? Kevin J2010 here, welcoming you back to some more Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we made our way here to Ecruteak City, and in this episode, we are going to uh, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff around the town. But real quick, I gotta heal my Pokemon, so I'm gonna go heal them. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Hmm, Kevin J, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon, but couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, do you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lynette from Hoenn, made this Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry on back to Goldenrod to, and see my folks. Buh bye bye Well, that, that's great. Now, if you come to the PC, you'll notice that it says... Uh, Bill's PC on the bottom there. So, oh, it's so exciting. Anyway, that's Bill. If you go back to Goldenrod, he can give you an Eevee, I believe. Which is pretty cool, because, I mean, it's an Eevee. And Eevee's a quite good Pokemon. But, uh... It evolves into many things. And in Generation uh, 2 onward, it evolves into two more. So this is technically... Um being Espeon and Umbreon. And since this is Gen 4, you can get Glaceon and Leafeon, but you actually can't do that in this specific game. You can trade them to Pearl and Diamond and do it. It's weird. Anyway, if you talk to this dude, he's like, ah, you're on adventure with your Pokemon. Well, that's an adventure. What's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Uh, sure. Good. You understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. This is the dousing machine. Dousing machine is basically um, the item finder. Um, it's actually a pretty interesting how they put it in this game. Uh, Gen 5 did it the best, but uh, the game didn't do it too bad. I like how they did it. I'm just going to deselect the old rod. I'm going to select the dousing machine. I'm going to register it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, so you come over here, and the, basically the way it works is I'm going to click it here to activate it. As you see on the bottom screen, I got this little thing. If you tap it, you can put your... you can hold the stylus on it. As you see, it got louder over here. And there we go. As you can see, we actually see an item over there. So you just got to line ourselves up with it. And right there is a Hyper Potion. That's all you got to do. And it's actually kind of cool. So there you go. And that is that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come into here. Hey! Hey! Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like like a like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Well then, I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. Wah ha ha ha. I love that guy. I don't know. Well, we gotta get up here and we gotta talk to him. Huh? Who are you? You dare get in my way? Now we're taking on a random rocket grunt. Who happened to be hanging around in the in the club? Meet me in the ball. It's going down. I got a coffin. No, you're going down. I'm gonna use Sonic Boom because I don't know what else to use on a coughing. Oh well, uh, he has less than 40 health, so two Sonic Booms and is dead. I'm surprised it's level 12, but whatever. And we get experience, and there we go, Team Rocket Grunt. Looks like I lost. Yes, yes you did. You lost. Oh no, you make me look like a villain. Oops, I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over as the lowest Team Rocket Grunt. I better leave now. Well, I guess he's the lowest Team Rocket Grunt. Anyway, you talk to this person. You must be Kevin J, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does... Does... That person does know what to look for in people. Oh, ho, ho, that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Ah, uh, she just says it again. Okay, well, clearly there's some sort of story with that one. Come down here and this old man says, Wonderful, you are so courageous for your age. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy, take it. You get HMO3, which is Surf. We definitely really want that. Um, H as you know, HMs are, are very useful. Anyway, and we're now done with that. That was kind of quick, now wasn't it? Next place we're gonna want to go is I want to talk to this old man because I feel like kimono girls are all kimono girls are always rehearsing their dances at the dance theater here. 
Oh, I thought it was going to be a little more sexual or something. Then if we come over here, this is Barrier Station to Bell Tower. No trespassing by the unworthy. We can't go in there yet. Talk to this guy. The tower that used to be here. I heard it used to be so, used to be much taller before it was burned by a fire. Or in a fire. Burn tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away as it is unsafe. One of the coolest dungeons in the game in my opinion. Right in front of us. Let's go. Welcome to the burn tower. I really like what they did to the game here. You can see down into there. It's kind of cool. Because in the original game, you couldn't see it. You just kind of had to find it for yourself. A lot of interesting Pokemon you can find here. A lot of poison and fire types. Um, if you want um, poison and fire types. Because you can find them here. Anyway, I believe you want to... Oh, that's a dead end. I thought I, I thought I was supposed to go that way. And Oh, there's Raticates here, too. Hot wait. I'm pretty sure Raticate evolves at a higher level than that, which means that Raticate is technically impossible. Oh, what are you, what are you, what? My name is Isuin. Is, Usin? I'm on the trail of a Pokemon named Swesun. It's Suicun. And you are... Kevin J? Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicun is here, so I came to look. I took... No, you should have a nerdy voice. Take a look at the basement through the hole in the floor. There! Suicun is down there! I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away in no time. I know. I have tried it many times. Well, that was very... This seems to be more than meets the eye with you. Oh, thanks, man. I, I try. I, I, I'm... I've been... I've been called a transformer of sorts. Another Zubbit. It's a Zubbit. You know what? I'm gonna kill this Zubbit, because I feel like it. And he, he said mean things to my mother behind my back. That's going to do one damage. Ah, oh, th three damage is a critical hit. And I got a speed boost. How much will Sonic Boom do? I just spam Sonic Boom, because we're at the right point where Sonic Boom does a lot of damage. Kicking a Zubat's butt. And now he is dead. And now he is dead. dead, 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 dead. There you go. And we want to come up here and. <gasps> oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That is only my dream. That is only. Wait, that is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. What? What? I think I misread like everything you just said there, but whatever. You are challenged by rival Emily. Starts off with his Ghastly. Oh wow, he's. We're gonna have a. We're gonna have trouble. Well, actually, I'm not under level. Now that I look, think about it, Rock Man's just under leveled. Please land, you turn. Please land you turn. Thank you. I was gonna be really upset. I was gonna be really upset if I didn't land that. I love the rival theme in this game. It's really catchy, yes it is. It's really catchy, oh yeah. It's really catchy. You hit yourself in confusion. You suck. Why did you hit yourself in confusion? Why did you hit yourself in confusion? I'm gonna kick your butt, stupid Gasolina. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, confusion. That might kill him. Might not. I'm not sure. Uh, close. Close. Very close indeed. We're gonna use. We're gonna use water gun. I saw that coming. Curse is a status move. It's kind of like it's kind of like poison, except it's not exactly poison. It's really weird. You want to learn detect? Detect's a good move. It's um, you use it and it makes the next move miss 100% of the time. I don't want to have a double team spamming team, so it's actually really good on Rockman because of his ability, um, speed boost, which if you use detect, it gives you a free turn to use it. 
continues with it. Ow, ow, ow. Got a lot more uh, grotesque with that move. And he's gonna throw out a Magnemite. We don't actually have much to really combat that, except for Maple to resist it. So that's the best we can do is throw out Maple. Nah. Luckily it's under level. Being a steel type, they figured you were gonna have a hard time with this thing. So we lowered its level. And we're gonna throw some beeves at it. And oh, it's like a five hit kill. Ah, why? Why do you have to know that move? Oh man, he's going for that, that crazy strat. That's a crazy strategy, the supersonic Supersonic and paralysis mixed together, because then you have like a quarter chance of attacking. But we still got to attack, so we're good. We're great. Perfect. Now that's a that's a four hit KO. So I mean we just gotta keep landing these razor beams. I can take three of those. And I snapped out of confusion and I got to use razor leaf again. You are going down soon, I'm gonna kick her, but Magnemite because you suck. You withdrew Magnemite! To throw out Quilava, Quilava. And I'm gonna get a Razor Leaf off, but at what cost, right? Because in... Wow. Wow, I got a critical hit. That's not bad. Okay, now he's gonna go for some fire move of some sort, so I'm gonna switch into Olaf. And Olaf is going to, you know... Oh, why do you spam that? Why do you spam that? Ah. Why? Why do you spam it? I still land the water gun out of the top of my head. Oh, they didn't do that much. They did damage. They didn't do that much damage. Can you stop? Can you stop doing that? Luckily, Yawn actually doesn't miss. Yawn, I, it's impossible for Yawn to miss unless you protect against it or something. Go throw in Yanma, because he's going to spam that. So I figure... Why? The AI in this game is weird. Now, Kalava's asleep, so... And now I have... I'm just going to use Sonic Boom here. And I'm just going to hope that Sonic Boom can take him out. This fight's really weird. I don't know. I feel like this was supposed to be really hard. But now I'm going to win. And we all got 2-2-2 two, two, two experience there. It was kind of funny. And I'm going to send in his Magnemite again. I'm going to keep Rockman in. Just because I'm, I have a feeling that Sonic Boom is going to be enough to kill him. And we definitely have enough speed with two turns of speed boost. And what do you know it was? Rockman is like really good, as you can see. He's actually proving himself right now, and he is under leveled. In fact, we're all slightly under leveled, but I'm gonna keep battling. And we're just gonna take out his Zubbit. You're copying me. That's all you did, is you're copying me. You were copying me. I'm just gonna Sonic Boom. Of course, now I miss. Ow, that's gonna hurt. Oh boy, okay. That hurt. I'm just gonna try to U turn. If a move like U-Turn misses, you you actually don't get the chance to switch. Which is kind of interesting, actually. Anyway, we're going to switch in to... Yeah, we're going to switch into Olaf. I was considering switching into Zubat. Just so Zubat can get some experience, but... Eh. It was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. I almost went for Water Gun when I should have gone for Supersonic. Wow! Zubit, can you, like, be less good? By the way, I said in an episode, I've annotated it since, but I said in a <clears throat> in a recent video that when a Pokeball, when a Pokemon is close to evolving, um, it's Pokeball on the bottom screen starts shaking, and I said evolving. I didn't mean to say evolving. I meant to say leveling up. So I'm sorry. The Pokemon levels up, and it's very close to one when its little ball is shaking on the bottom screen. So I apologize for my little screw up. It was kind of stupid of me. Yeah, it happens, I guess. Anyway, we're just going to go for a wing attack here and go blame. Ah, oh, he's still not dead. Ow. He did more damage than me because he's a higher level, but we're going to blame. 
I got now I get a critical hit just to add insult to injury. And do we get enough to level up? Yes, we do. Yay. There we go. We defeated rival Emily. Whew! I'm not fighting with another weakling ever again. It's just too much playing around. Oh, he's playing that one. Are you are you saying that you got metagame? Oh, whatever. You would never know. You'd never be able to catch legendary Pokemon anyway. Just push me out of the way. Dude. Dude, man. And we get a call from Joey. Joey, what do you want? Howdy. It's Joey. How are you? Oh, yeah. I took down a Kakuna in the wild the other day. It was a cakewalk. Well, I guess it can't be helped. So just being so tough. All right, later. I hate their phone calls. I really hate their phone calls. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to head down these stairs in the next episode. And we're going to see what those three things down there are. I'll see you guys all next time.